Do not buy this static bar before you watch this review. I will give you a quick review of this static bar, how to build it up, which exercises you can do on it, and just in general, my overall thoughts about it. And after watching this video, if you want to get your own bar, I will leave the link in the description. The price is a big deal for everyone, so let's just get it out there. The cost of this product is going to be 149 euros, which to me is a pretty normal price for this type of equipment. I will try some exercises on it and just give my overall thoughts, so in the end, you will know if it's worth the price or not. Let's get into the building. Since this is a prototype, I didn't receive a manual, so I guess it's another IQ test for me. First off, I'm just checking if there's like any symmetry in these ones and they are symmetric, so I think it doesn't matter which side I put it on. Let's start with the first one. I see that these screws are actually like square in the end, which means that you only need to screw in one side and the other side is held by the metal. So it's a simple build up. I'm just gonna do it slightly by hand first and then tightening everything in the end. Concentration exercise. This, I don't know what you call it, but this one was given to me as well and uh, it's gonna be in the original package as well. It's for tightening all the nuts. Like I said, since the screws are like square on the other side, I don't need to hold it from the other, other side. I just have to tighten it from the top. All right, that's one leg. Let's get to the next one. So I do recommend you building the legs first, both legs, and then assembling the bar onto them. It's just a way easier progress. And here you have sort of a choice. There is different, different holes on this one. It's for different heights. I mean, I'm one of the taller athletes, so I'm gonna just put it at a high setting, but you can choose. And here you also see that there is squares on one side, and there is just round holes on the other side. Since the screws are square in the end, this one is gonna go outwards. Maybe that depends. Maybe you want it inwards and then the screws are gonna point outwards. Maybe that's what they thought. I'm gonna go with that. Because if I have it like this, it's not gonna be anything like with the hands or close to the hands. So I feel like it's less of a danger if I put it like this. I now see that there are two of these ones that are a bit longer than the rest and they are like threaded all the way. I don't have enough IQ to figure out the reason why. <laughs> But that's probably gonna say in the manual when you get it. So when you get it, please tell me how to do it correctly. Tighten it down. Schmuck. I will tighten these ones a bit harder when I get out the side as well. Just to make sure it stands pretty good before I just squeeze this side and then it might not be so good on this side. This requires some precision. Right, and now that everything is on place or in place, I hope this ground is flat enough. And if it is, when I tighten it down now, it should be pretty horizontal. And just check these ones one last time as well. And I mean, you rather have them a bit too loose in the beginning than just destroying the threads. I mean, if you train and you feel like they are a bit shaky, then just tighten it down afterwards. Instead of destroying the threads, because you can do it since you're probably a calisthenics athlete and you're too strong for this. We're done. We made it without instructions and uh, hopefully it's correct. If Phil from Gonation sees this, he's probably gonna write in the comment that I did it wrong. So we got it up and my first impression is that it is it is really wide and if you're thinking about doing like SAT, it is it's definitely doable and uh, since I'm like big athlete as well like this would be definitely enough for me. The other thing is that these feet are pretty wide as well so I feel like it's gonna be stable in this direction and since it's wide here as well it is it's not gonna tip and I also really like the fact that you can put it way lower so if I were to do like handstand or something and I don't really want the height I can just lower it down get it even more stable. Also the grip in general it, it feels feels solid a bit slippery but that's because I have sweaty hands but with some chalk or tape or something it's gonna be like perfect for statics all right now let's get some measurements the other one other bar so we will start with the height and uh, since this is the highest setting I feel like that's most most important most and we have about 108 centimeters to the lowest point. And uh, that's pretty much in the middle here, so we might just measure that as well. On the lowest setting, we're looking at about like 78 centimeters. The width, we have 114 centimeters if you have like your hands as wide as possible. And since I put these screws outwards, I can have my hands like completely to the sides. And, um, and that's it. 
This bar is a bit more towards athletes that are doing static moves. You can do some Australian pull-ups and some basics, but I would say it's definitely best for like front lever, planche and handstand and the harder variation skills. Let's see which skills I can actually perform on this bar. And since I mentioned SAT in the beginning, I might just give it a try, even though it's not 100% sure that I will make it. So, wide as possible, and top hold. You get the frame, like a photo. So that's the most solid attempt I can give, but let's move on to the things that I actually can perform with like good form, such as the normal front lever. And I mean, the height is definitely good enough. And even for the, not professional athletes, but people are doing progressions such as half lay, this is also high enough. I just feel like you can do a lot of things on this one. Next one, some planche, and of course it's gonna be straight bar planche, but you can also do iguana. Personally, I'm not so good at the iguana, so I will just stick to the normal straight bar planche. Let's just give it a shot and do actually full planche. It's not gonna be the bar that breaks, it's probably gonna be my shoulders. Let's go. Solid. Both the bar and that attempt is probably decent as well. One thing that I look at when I train on setup is that they are not shaking. And especially in front level pull-ups and planche push-ups, you're putting a lot of like pressure and vibrations into the bar. So I will try front level pull-up and planche push-ups and just see how it handles it. Starting off with a front level pull-up, life hack is to get some good false grip. That's pretty much as explosive I can go. I didn't even think about the bar, more about the camera and looking good. Next one is gonna be planche. Maybe I should push my limits and try a full planche push up. It's not rare that I train it like this. I usually have like my resistance band and everything, but we'll give it a shot. The bar is definitely good enough for it, but I need some more training. The final shakiness test is gonna be the handstand. And I will actually add some handstand push-ups as well, just to push the limits. And uh, I mean, in the handstand, it's probably the only skill that you really feel if it's shaking or not. If you're doing front level and it's a bit shaky, it's like, doesn't really matter. But the handstand is pretty important. So let's give it a try. A little bit of shakiness and lack of handstand skill. It is definitely doable. I feel a little bit of shakiness. It's also because the metal isn't super thick, so of course it's gonna be a little bit of, a little bit of gap. In general, I think it's, it's not perfect for handstand, but straight by handstand isn't my strongest side either, but definitely doable. We will now try the back lever. It was one of the first skills I learned, and uh, let's just see if we can do it on this one. I usually enter with the skin the cat. And it went perfect without hitting my head. Transition. It's not that common that you can do skin the cat on these types of bars, so I'm really impressed that it got the height enough for me to actually perform it. Now that we have tried some exercises, we know the price and we know the quality of the product, let me give you my overall thoughts. Starting with the build up, I didn't even get a manual, but I managed to get this one up in like just a few minutes. It's just a few screws and super easy to assemble, so definitely high rating on that one. Then we tried some exercises for the front lever and front lever pull ups. It's, it's golden. I will be killing the front lever game on it. Also with planche, it works super well. The downside was when I started doing some handstand because it is a little bit shaky in this direction. So I would say if you're good at handstand, it's it's doable. However, if you're starting to learn it, it's, it's gonna be a bit harder. But in general, a super nice bar and you can truly kill the static game on it. I hope this video gave you the information you needed to make a decision. And if you wanna buy it, you will find it in the description down below. And as always, if you use code SIMON, you will save 10%. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video.